What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Big Coop, and I'm back to hit y'all with, with another video. And today's video, I want to talk about today. Today has been a very special day for me. I hit an accomplishment, something I've been wanting to accomplish for a while now since I've been into the Navy. And as you guys can see by the title, I got my Air Warfare pin today. Now, for those of you that may not know what that is, so uh, it's just basically a um, qualification you get. Uh, basically, it shows that you have uh, you have the knowledge and you have the professional skills, and um, you basically know about the aircraft uh, that you work with. So for me, uh, <clears throat> I'm in an F-18 squadron. So what that means is, um, pretty sure you guys have seen or heard of them, uh, the uh, F-18 jets. Uh, my squadron, we fly those type of aircraft, and uh, that basic. So w with me getting my air warfare, that basically means that uh, I have the knowledge. Like basically, it's like a basic understanding of what that uh, what that aircraft can do, what it's capable of, um, as far as like uh, the the gun, the missiles, uh, the different flight controls, uh, the engine, um, all the different systems uh, that shows the uh, all the different systems that shows the uh, navigation, um, shows the uh, pilot how high he is above sea level or how how high they are above um, uh, ground ground level. So um, so it's just basically like a basic uh, understanding. Um, and how it goes is uh, when you get to your command, um, after you do a uh, command end up, you should get this, uh, you should get your wings packet. Now your wings packet is like, uh, it's kind of long, um, like the phase one is like 19 sections. So you have 19, um, 19 topics in there that you have to uh, learn about. Um, and after you feel like you know enough about each section, you go to someone in your command that's you know, E5 and above, and they are, they already have their air warfare uh, qualification then you can go to them and say hey I'm trying to get this signature for this section can you sign up on it so they get it they ask you questions out the book to see if you really did study see if you know what you're talking about see if you know your stuff so once you get phase one done uh, you have about nine months to get phase one done some people get it done way less than nine months um, so yeah so you uh, get phase one done you move on to phase two uh, all phase two really is is uh, just go up to your maintenance master chief and uh, you say, hey master chief, uh, I'm finished with phase one, can you sign on phase two? And he or she sign it off and tell you good luck and you move on to phase three. Now phase three uh, for your wings is uh, when you really start learning uh, in depth about uh, each rate. So uh, for phase one, like uh, for part one of phase three, you're learning about the uh, air framers. So the uh, aircraft structural mechanics, uh, you learn about uh, the mechs, the uh, ADs, you learn about what they do. Um, you learn about the uh, ATs and AEs. Uh, you learn about the AMEs and you know PRs, what we do. Uh, you learn about, um, or you learn about the uh, AOs also. You learn about AOs, and that's it. And um, yeah, and then at the very end, you learn about the different missions because uh, every time, uh, every time the jet goes up to do a mission, they always doing like. Uh, different missions, so it can be like war at sea or close air support. You know, like supporting the uh, the troops on the ground. Uh, they can be doing some kind of uh, patrolling where they just patrol in one general area. Um, uh, it's just many different kind of missions that they can be doing. Um, and uh, to be honest, um, so after so uh, after you do that, you uh, you take a written test. Uh, for my command, the written test is only 50 questions. It's super easy. I knocked it out in like 15 or 20 minutes. Uh, so after you've passed the written test, uh, you have to score um, an 80 or above. So after you pass that, uh, then you wait about a week or two. Uh, and then uh, whoever your wings coordinator is uh, in your command, that person sets up uh, a wings board and it'll be you and however many other people are uh, finished uh, that got all their signatures, they passed their written test and they're ready to go to board because you have so so after you pass a, uh, a written test you have to pass a um, you have to pass an oral board and the oral board is what I did today and the oral board can be kind of nerve wracking because for my board we had my command master chief in there uh, one first class and we had three 
second classes in there. Um, and they all just ask you random questions um, out of the book. And you have to get, like, majority of the questions they ask you. You have to get it right. The board lasts about, and it lasts like an hour and a half, um, somewhere around there. So after you do that, you show them your knowledge. You show them that you, you know, you know what you're talking about. You study. Um, then uh, they tell you to step out the room. They discuss, you know, how each board member did. Uh, for me today, it was only me and one other guy. And uh, me and that guy, we both, you know, did really well. We answered the questions to the best of our knowledge. We got most of the questions right. We helped each other out. Um, so they told us to step out. They talked about how we did. Uh, we were standing out there for like a minute or two. They told us to come back in. Um, and then they told us we passed and that was it. And I was just so happy. Like This is probably like one of the happiest days of the year for me right here. Uh, um, I finally get in my air warfare. So when I go back to the ship, go on deployment, I can start working on getting my uh, surface warfare qualification. And that's going to be a goal of mine to get uh, on deployment because it was a goal of mine to get my uh, air warfare qualification while I was here in Fallon. And we did, and we're about to leave uh, on Friday. So I'm glad I got it knocked out, and uh, I'm just glad it's behind me. So just wanted to share this video with you guys, share the information. Uh, if you guys have any questions about the uh, air warfare qualification and how it works, um, anything that I didn't answer. Um, then just feel free to hit me up in the comment section and uh, I'll get back with you. Uh, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and uh, this big coop and I'm out.